You know, there are debates and arguments over the best way to clean a record out there. And it reminds me of some of the disagreements people have over sex, religion, and politics. And I'm going to show you my current preferred method. And if you don't like it, I say, go jump in a lake. Welcome to my own devices. Modern and vintage audio is my game. Value and synergy is my aim. If you like what I do, please like and subscribe. And please spread the word about MOD. And if you'd like to support this channel, please visit patreon.com slash my own devices. Thanks. So let's go through my recent acquisitions over the last, uh, even yesterday and a couple weeks ago. I got this Joni Mitchell Hajira album. I already had a copy, but it was uh, kind of beat up. I don't know if this is any better. I got it. These were like three for 10 bucks. So I got this, this Traffic John Barley Corn Must Die album. That was three for 10 bucks. This Crosby Stills Nash. It's got a couple good tracks on it. Uh, Allies. And uh, actually, my wife picked out this one. It's Jeff Rotel stand up album, one of the early records. Here we go, double album, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Another live album by Joe Jackson. I've never seen this before, but it, uh, it's live from the 80s, live performances by Joe Jackson. I'm a big fan of his recently. There's a Jackson Brown The Pretender, three for 10 bucks, or three bucks each, whatever they were. Uh, here's another Joe Jackson album from the 80s called um, Beat Crazy. I uh, picked up this a couple weeks ago, this Yes album, Tormato, yeah. Dexy's Midnight Runners, that was cheap, like three bucks. I got the first Tubes album, used to like them a lot, eight bucks. Um, <laughs> Hollow Notes, their album, uh, Sarah Smile and uh, Bitch Girl on this one. Horrible album cover, but all right. Picked this up a while back. I haven't never walked cleaned it yet. I haven't really played it yet. I'm a Gamma Pink Floyd. And the second Chicago album. Chicago 2. Oh, there's one more here. And, oh, XTC, Waxworks, singles, 1977 and 80 to 82. All right. I've been using a spin clean for a while to clean my records, but I really felt that I needed to take record cleaning to the next level. So after a while and doing some research, I decided to go, to go ultrasonic. So if you're not sure what an ultrasonic cleaner is, well, it's a device that cleans through high frequency sound waves that are transmitted through water to scrub clean the surface of immersed objects. The high frequency sound waves agitate the water and create microscopic bubbles that can get deep inside tiny spaces like a record groove and, in, and then they implode, dislodging any minuscule contaminants. I went and spent my money on the Isonic Ultrasonic Vinyl Record Cleaner. Let me give you a quick tour of the Isonic. Now this is a normal large ultrasonic cleaner with the usual features. You can add some heat to the bath, although I don't recommend doing this. I read somewhere that it might get a little too warm for vinyl. <laughs> it also has a timer with four preset times. There's a hose that you can attach to the side with a lever to open and close it when draining the tank. Now, these additional parts make it a vinyl cleaning system. First, you get the motorized rotating spindle mechanism. And this has an incorporated bracket that's made to fit on the side of the ultrasonic tank. And it pivots up and down to lower and lift the records out of the water. The spindle on this model is made to accommodate five records. And it also comes with a set of these label protector discs. And for an additional charge, you can buy one that holds 10 records. Each one of these discs has a rubber gasket to grip the records and prevent the labels from getting wet. And I've got my spin clean over there and I've got my liquids, uh, fluids over there. So we're going to do a session, a record cleaning session. I decided that I'm not going to use and buy a bunch of gallons of distilled water. 
I'm going to use filtered water that I filter myself. It saved me having to buy these jugs of distilled water and keep them around the house. I'll just refill this. These, I do, basically I need about two gallons of this every time I do some record cleaning. So the first gallon, then you put a cap full of their, it's called their Isonic Ultrasonic Vinyl Record Clean Solution Concentrate. So I put a cap full of this. Then I do the degassing. All right, you've always, you've seen me do this a few times before, but the first step for every new record that I get, that I buy, it's a, a session in the spin clean. So you do it like three turns, turns one direction. I don't know, I lost count already. And then three turns in the other direction. And I take it, I shake it, get the water off of it. And I put it on the spindle. Line it up like this. All right, that's the fifth record. So you can do, with this device, you can do five records at a time. If I spent more money, I could have bought one that does 10 at a time. But I think five at a time is fine. Now listen, there's some people out there who say, oh, you can't do records like this. You should only clean them one at a time. Because the ultrasonic bubbles or whatever have a difficult time getting between the, the records like this. But I, I can't be worrying about that. I think. Five at a time is, is great. So you tilt it back like this into the water, nice and tight. Then you start the rotation. To some people, even this is a controversial subject. Oh, this device spins the records too quickly. In order to be cleaned properly, they need to spin about half this speed. I'm like, my God, I can't, I think it's fine. I'm gonna run it for 15 minutes. So it's spinning right now. Then I just hit the, hit the button. Right now. All right, time is up. Got to turn off the motor. And what you do, what you do next, you take this little acrylic block, shift this thing back a bit, put the acrylic block under the little arm there. Can't really see it. Here, let's, let's go around. It's over there. And what I do is I allow them to drip dry for a while, for a few minutes. As you can see, the water is dripping off of them. All right, I believe enough time has passed. I unscrew the plastic nut there, and then I uh, take the records and give them a little once over, There's a few little drips there, then I'm going to put them to dry somewhere else for a few minutes longer, then I'll replace them back in their covers with new inner sleeves. Always when I clean records, I replace the inner sleeves with these 
poly line uh, paper sleeves. I think these work out pretty well. I used to spin clean to get the bulk of the surface dust off the records. The Isonic does the deep cleaning part of the process. I've actually been considering getting one of those noisy record vacuum devices. So after it's removed from the ultrasonic bath, the water is immediately vacuumed off. Does that sound like a good idea? I think it might work. Anyway, okay, what have I learned? I've learned that it does cost money to keep your record collection neat and clean. And a spin clean is like $80. And the Isonic ultrasonic system is around $780. So, you know, that sounds like a lot of dinero, I know. But if you have or plan on amassing a significantly large record collection, a next level record cleaning device is necessary if you want your records and cartridge stylus to remain at their best. Yes, it is a process that will take you a few hours to complete, but I think it's worth it in the long run, especially if you value your record collection. Hey, check out my latest addition to the process. This is a handy compact record drying rack, and I think it's probably better than leaning the records against the back of a bar stool, which is what I have been doing for the last few months. All right, well, thanks a lot, and oh, Please, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who are thinking, oh my God, he's doing it all wrong. He's ruining his records. What an idiot. Um, go ahead, leave your comments. Give me your best shot. All I know is my records are clean. They sound good. So, you know, so what? Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.